Hey, what's going on guys? Joe here coming at you today from Town Hall 12 and today we're in Paradox taking a look at some of the boys attacks over here and we got the Bow Witch attack strategy. Always a classic. You guys love this one. This is not nothing new at all. Uh, the army itself is a little bit of a queen walk. You got some giants, you got some bowlers, and you got some witches. Not necessarily my cup of tea, but I'm no good with witches. I never have been. I don't trust them. It's just me. I just don't trust the ladies. It's all good though. So this base here, we have a classic, you know, Town Hall in the center. You know there's going to be some Tesla's in the core there and then everything is just designed to keep you going around the outside of the base that's the intent of this base but furious is going to take a, you know take care of it very nicely beautiful work by furious on this attack he's going to start out with a few wizards up in the north side clearing out an army camp and taking out a builder's hut and then you got an ar uh, a gold storage up there and he's setting up for the queen walk here is what he's going to do he's got to get that queen in there to take out this air defense that air defense must go down or he's going to lose his healers in the process and the healers play a significant role in the bowlers and witches so you got another wizard over in the western corner is taking out an army camp and then you're going to see the archer queen dropped and then a balloon to look for seeking air mines pretty common practice here and then you got your healers and the queen's going to step in and take out that air defense and then she's going to follow this line of defenses and i mean the base itself just kind of gives it away for what needs to happen with it this is a pretty easy base to negotiate if you understand and don't just drop your troops and space Bam, dropping the rage spell there to keep that queen going. Those healers are going to join the queen in the rage spell and boost her health back up. As she moves into an archer tower, then she's going to take down the laboratory and then the cannon. And you can see the trend here. She's just going to continue to follow this path. We're going to see those giants dropped and then the witches. And then you're going to see some wall breakers sneak in there once the giants identify that there's no bombs over there. And they're going to open up the compartment very nicely. Barbarian kings dropped. You got your large group of bowlers and the Grand Warden and the Clan Castle troops have been pulled. So you're going to see a poison spell drop for our troops and the Eagle Artillery is dropping some volleys down on our troops and they're just going to continue to push. Pushing on through, taking out buildings. You got buildings on both sides of the wall but this is perfectly fine. The bowlers are going to do perfectly fine moving through this area. Rage spell down, taking down that Eagle Artillery and the Grand Warden's ability is going to be used as our troops move into what looks to be a couple of giant bomb locations. Now here's the magic. You're going to see that single wall record moving in it's going to take on a single piece of wall which has already got a hole it's, it's, it's just a wall record don't pay any attention to it it's going to crack through the next layer and then it's going to move in towards the town hall inside that wall record we have valkyries and so those valkyries are going to be joined with a rage spell and they're going to do very nicely in the core here they're going to see that rage spell and then the wall record is going to get directly in on that town hall valks are going to take down a town hall with the, the assistance of a freeze spell and taking down the hit the Teslas and, and as you see that just disintegrated and fell apart very quickly so it was just beautiful work there bowlers and witches are still working their way around they're just playing the base for what it is and they're going to follow the defenses taking them down queen is assisting them and it looks like we haven't lost any of our troops so perfect base design for this army if you see these base designs this is definitely what you can do uh, but from here we are going to take a look at one more 12v12 and then we have a 11v12 attack at the end of the video if you're interested in that guys okay so if you missed the army in the previous attack you'll see it here we have a similar army but you got to remember that not every army is exactly the same there's always going to be some minor adjustments for troops being used in the funnel or troops being used on the back end for the most part the core army is still about the same with the bowlers you got 16 of those and you got four witches and then you got the five healers for the queen walk so this base, it doesn't really give the attacker justice. It just, this base is just, it's, it's Clan War Leagues, you know, I, I don't know what else to say. We got, we face what we face, but the attack strategies work great and the Juggernaut is going to get the job done. So we are going to set up the queen walk and we're going to use the baby dragon on the north side to start setting the opposite side funnel taking out an archer tower and then the baby is going to go into a gold mine and then move up into an army camp it's going to get picked off by that archer tower then you're going to see the grand warden dropped over there in the eastern corner followed by the queen and the healers and so we're going to move into this compartment freezing and shutting down that expo for a moment allowing that queen some time to work and i think juggernaut's kind of this kind of play 
playing by eye to see where this queen is going to go. I uh, used the baby dragon there to probably direct that queen back up towards the north, but it did not happen. So he does make an adjustment on the fly. And it's just one of those things when you cannot predict exactly where the queen is going to go. So he drops the giants. He's going to use them as tanks for that wall wrecker. And he's going to drop the witches on the outsides on the southern side. And all the defensive strength is going to focus in on that wall wrecker as it moves into the base. And you will see that the witches are able to move freely down here in the south side and take out these outer buildings. I mean, you do have a mortar up there and you will have a pair of bowlers that will join our witches. They are right here and they're going to move around the south side. But for the most part, the bulk of the army is going to move into a rage spell. You got the Barb King in there. You got the Grand Warden. You got a large group of bowlers and the queen and the healers backing them up. And they are going to move through following that wall wrecker to the core. The wall wreckers caught up on the Eagle Artillery. Poison spells down for our clan castle troops and another rage spell for our troops as they move in there. There was a heal spell dropped in the core there and the Grand Warden's ability used as well. And it's just one of those things with this army. You cannot 100% predict where the bowlers are going to go. They are a little sporadic in their targeting and they will bounce around and you know change, dire change directions often. It's very difficult to determine where they're going to go. Looks like we got a peck up in the north side from the clan castle and we got bowlers jumping, hitting a jump spell there was a jump spell placed up there in the north side carrying our troops to the back end of the base there was a balloon that snuck in and took out a cannon on the opposite side kind of helping our bowlers and witches out over there and looks like we got some bowlers caught up on a wall here to get in on this compartment and take down that cannon queen is in the north side of the base she's taking down an additional cannon and looks like we are out of defenses once that cannon falls over there in the eastern side just beautiful work here in the negotiation on the, the, the play the play off of that archer queen is what was important there. I'm pretty sure the use of the baby dragon there was to direct that queen up towards the north. It did not happen, so he made a play based off of where the queen went and made the adjustments there. Let's go ahead and get into shockwaves attack, guys. In this attack, we have a town hall 11 versus a very low town hall 12, but still, it is a town hall 12. The town hall does attack back. It's just not a level five. Uh, and shockwaves going to negotiate this base a little bit differently than the previous attack. The E-Drag is added to the composition here, and the target here is to bring our army into the Eagle Artillery and get rid of it. Get rid of the Eagle Artillery. It does cause a lot of problems, more than you might think it does as the attack progresses uh, if you try to come in on the opposite side of the base. So we're going to start out with an E-Drag over here in the southeastern side of the base, and that's mainly because you got four air defenses that are tucked back up in there, and you got a lot of value to direct the bowlers. Queen dropped over in the west, so so we're actually going to start out with the queen walk instead, uh, moving that queen down towards the south. That's what that baby dragon is there for. The baby dragon is going to take out buildings to push that queen down towards the southern compartment, uh, taking out multiple buildings along the way and keeping an eye on her health. You're also going to see that E-Drag now placed over there in the southeast, taking out multiple buildings that were stacked on top of each other. It's just the base design gives it away for the Electro Dragon with zero spacing in between the buildings and allows this E-Drag to take out multiple defenses, which is going to help out quite a bit. You'll also notice where the Queen was located. Those defenses, again, are within range. There is no space in between them, and it opens it up perfectly for the Queen Walk. Next, you're going to see the giant spread, and they're going to go into a very lightweighted compartment with a mortar and a Grand Warden. The Queen's going to help out on this, and then you're going to see those bowl the bowlers joining with the Barbarian King, Witches, and the Grand Warden. So really great maneuvering here straight up into that Eagle Artillery, taking it down with ease and then you're going to see the rage spell dropped and it's going to basically boost up everything as they move into the clan castle troops poison spell is going to be placed as well as a heal spell for our bowlers as they move through a heavy dense defensive area grand warden's ability is going to be used to save our bowlers and protect our giants as they move into some hidden teslas taking it down that wall wrecker has continued to progress into the final compartment allowing the queen access to the enemy queen it is a lower enemy queen but she falls with ease and looks like we got bowlers in the wall wrecker which are going to in fact battle it out with the town hall queen is going to back them up by taking it down barbarian king is in there as well so that's phenomenal and i mean as you can see we got some witches that stayed on on the outside of the base and we got the bulk of the army that went in the core of the base like i said it's just very unpredictable with the witches sometimes you can't really predict whether they're going to follow in if there's no buildings available for them to 
to target. They will kick outside and do that, or they might actually try to follow the main group of, of the main effort. It just depends on if there's targets on the outside of the bases for them to target. And it is what it is when it comes to the base designs. But either way, phenomenal negotiation by Shockwave. I definitely had to show that because it was in fact an 11 v 12, even though it was a lightweight one, you still have to show some love guys. So anyways, this is me doing my best to help you suck less. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And thanks for watching guys. Wow. This is where it gets insane. So you got your sneak peek right here because this is about as much as you're gonna get for the evening. Yes, it's your sneak peek for Thursday, guys. Your sneak peek for Thursday. You see how big Full we are? size, you see what I'm saying? We got swole up in here. Swole up in here. Swole <laughs> up in here. And on that note. <laughs> on that note.